We begin with breaking news out of Northampton, where a fire broke out at Smith Vocational and Agricultural School just this afternoon. And that was just hours after last night's storm damaged the roof on a separate building on school grounds. Thanks for joining us, everyone, on this Monday afternoon, and welcome to Western Mass News at 4. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli was the first on the scene. He joins us now live with the very latest. Matt. Yeah, Chris, more than a dozen fire engines on scene here from a number of communities extinguishing a two alarm fire that broke shortly after two o'clock p.m. I spoke with the school superintendent, Andrew Lincoln Hoker, who tells me he believes the fire started in the school's horticulture building around dismissal time. He tells me he thinks it may have been in part due to a tractor catching fire at building E. He also says all students are safe and accounted for at this time. Students were quickly escorted off campus. However, I caught up with some student athletes on the boys lacrosse team. They were on campus getting ready for practice, which will now have to be moved. They say they were ordered to shelter in place in the cafeteria after dismissal. Everyone just all scrambled. Yeah, like, just they just try out of the building. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of commotion and scramble. Uh, everyone to get a video, get home. You know, there's some people are like, oh, it's kind of cool, and some people are just really panicked. And Superintendent Lincoln Hoker adds he believes this incident is completely separate from the partial roof collapse to the D building during last night's storm. That damage forced several classes to be relocated today. This included the electrical shop, carpentry shop, as well as Spanish and art classrooms. We're told the majority of the repairs to the roof were expected to be made tomorrow or Wednesday. Coming up later on Western Mass News, we'll tell you how this is going to affect classes tomorrow. Make sure to stick with us. We'll have much more from the scene. For now, reporting live in Northampton, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News. Hi, right, Matt. Thank you.